David Hockney's affection for his furry companions became a defining theme in his art, particularly through his dog series that he started around 1980. It all began when he welcomed his first pair of Dachshunds, sparking a new creative journey. Casual sketches evolved into touching portraits, immortalising his beloved Stanley and Bougie. However, it wasn't until 1995, amidst the grief of losing close friends to the AIDS crisis, that Hockney found solace in painting his dogs. Reflecting on this shift in his work, he expressed a profound need to capture love after experiencing profound loss. Stanley and Bougie, his con constant companions, became his muses. They were more than just pets, they were his little companions, his best friends. This phase also marked Hockney's exploration of etching and aquatint techniques to produce his dog paintings. His experimentation culminated in pieces like Horizontal Dogs. In 1998, setting up a print studio in his Hollywood Hills residence, Hockney collaborated with Maurice Payne. Payne prepared plates for Hockney to directly draw on, aiming to capture the spontaneity of his original dog sketches. The resulting prints often feature Stanley and Bougie, depicted resting on a cushion that frames a composition. Rendered in soft, cross-hatched marks, these dashens appear in serene repose, a rare moment of stillness captured by Hockney. These monochrome prints serve as a subtle departure from the vibrancy of his earlier painted series, offering a tranquil counterpoint. Compiled alongside his earlier works, these prints were featured in David Hockney's Dark Days, a book published in 1998, celebrating his enduring affection for his furry companions.